Hi guys, here's another extra video of my 2D game tutorial. Also, we will edit our code a little bit at the end. The main theme of this video is pixel art. So you can continue the tutorial without applying the changes in this video, so don't worry. But if you are interested in pixel art or how the game's graphics have changed, uh, please keep watching. So if you have been checking the community tab on my channel, so you might know that I've been working on the pixel art of the game for a while. I kind of like the original look of the game. It's simple, blocky, and very 8-bit. And to be honest, I was never really interested in drawing pixel art. So I was more into programming and also Drawing pixel art looked very difficult and require some special skill and talent. But then I stumbled upon YouTube channels such as uh, Pixel Pete or Adam C. Yunis. So these channels provide really good pixel art tutorials and uh, made me feel uh, maybe I can also improve my tiles a little bit. So they actually piqued my interest in drawing pixel art. So first of all, I want to say huge thanks to these channels. I think this didn't happen if I didn't find their channels. So I decided to work on my tiles and I had these six tiles. And first, I started working on the grass tile. So instead of putting these random dots throughout the tile, so I decided to draw three grasses like this. Yeah, something like this. So it looks like this, but I felt this was uh, a bit too much. So I also created this totally blank all green grass tile and uh, decided to use this as the main grass tile and uh, so use this one as kind of an accent tile so I changed every grass tile to the blank green tile and uh, add the accent tile here and there so it looked like this so now we have two grass tiles so blank one and uh, accent one. Then I worked on the tree tile. Not much change, but I deleted this dot and changed the color and also edited the shading a little bit. So yeah. I'm still not really satisfied with how this shading looks, but uh, yeah, for now, this is how it looks. Yeah, so like this. Then I started working on the water tile and this was quite a work because I wanted to take care of the edge of these tiles. And for this one, Pixelpeed has made an amazing water tile tutorial, so I recommend you to check that. So anyway, to take care of the edge nicely, we need to create several patterns. First, I deleted this white dot, and also changed the water color a little bit. And then pick the color from the grass tile, and uh, draw the edge of the land like this. Then created the earth part like this. Then choose a bit darker color and uh, create shadow. and then randomize it a little bit. Yeah, something like this. 
So then choose a dark green color, so darker than this grass tile, and uh, draw the edge of this grass so like this. like this and uh, to create a bit more smooth transition I picked a bit lighter green than this and put it here and there like this then pick the watercolor again and uh, choose a bit darker this time to create some shadow, oops, like this. And I also used a bit lighter color than this and uh, add some accent, accent or yeah, something like this, a bit darker, something like this. Very subtle. Yeah. Okay, so let's expand this image a little bit. So place this here. Okay. And for the opposite bank, so hmm. And for the side bunks, something like this. So for the side bunks. I included the earth or dirt a little bit. But I think either way is fine. I've noticed some games show earth on the side bank and some games don't. So just show the grasses and water. And now create a, a tile which connects this top bank and this side bank. Uh, then create a tile which connects this bottom bunk and uh, this side bunk. Okay. And then... So you can flip these images horizontally like this. And then we create four more tiles. So I chose several colors between white and this watercolor and created a little gradation. Yeah, so that's it for the water tile 
interesting. So in the end, I created uh, 14 variations. Okay, so the next is this sand tile. I was using this sand tile as a kind of a, you know, load. So I decided to make this look more like a load. Yeah, so I first I deleted the dot, then I picked a little darker color than this base color and created some pattern. And what I did was basically the same as the water tiles. So I created 11 patterns so it can handle most of the situation. And now earth or dart tile. And for this one I just I don't know, I didn't I didn't have any good idea, so I just uh you know randomize the pattern basically. It's like uh, really randomly. Yeah, something like this. And finally, the wall tile. I decided to keep using this brick pattern and uh, make it a bit more detailed. So basically, I changed the brightness of this gray color. Yes, something like this. So I used a uh, gray color and uh, changed the uh, like a brightness, and so created some uh, shadows and uh, gradation, and so and kind of random right randomize it. Yeah, so that's everything. I think I ended up creating thirty-two tiles. Yeah, let's implement these tiles and see how they look like in the game. And first, we need to increase the size of this tile array. You know, since we have more than 10 tiles now, so like, yeah, 50 should be enough for now. And uh, yeah, we can always increase the size whenever we want. Then we can add new tiles to like a yeah, tile index 6, 7, 8. Yeah, that's basically it. But um, I decided to not to use this, you know, index 0 to 9 tiles. So, 7, 8, 9, 7, 8, 9. So, So I just put uh, this blank grass tile to index 0 to 9 as a placeholder and we're gonna start from uh, index 10 and this is also a blank grass tile but uh, this is the actual grass tile we're gonna use and uh, these 9 tiles we don't use but I put this grass tile as a placeholder because Otherwise, you know, it can get null pointer except exception error and I need to add an extra code to avoid that. And that's a little bit too much pain. And the reason I wanted to start from index 10 is pretty simple. Right now we are only using single digit number to create this world map. But uh, if we add two digit numbers too, then it becomes like this. 
So single digit number and two digit numbers are mixed like this, then uh, it kind of disturbs the placement of these numbers and make it a bit harder to read or look. So program wise, it still works just fine, it's no problem. So it's purely like appearance reason. So I added new tiles like this. So these are placeholder. So from here, so these are the tiles we're going to use. Yeah, and this is the new map file. So every number is two digit like this. And I also changed the map a little bit. So in the old map, the world was surrounded by these trees. So as if we are in a, like a big forest or something. But I thought it's a bit boring. So I decided to surround the land by water. So now our world became an island. So yeah, okay, let's delete uh, these old, old tiles and copy these new tiles and also yeah now we're gonna use this world world v2 file so let's change the uh, file path to world v2 okay so i think everything is ready so yeah let's take a look yeah, yeah, like this. So now it's surrounded by water. second half we're gonna place a different thing. Looks good. So yeah, I think everything is placed correctly. Yeah, so this is the new look of the game. It took about a week to create those tiles, but uh, I think it was worth it. And right before, I'm gonna upload this new tile set on my drive, so, so if we are using my tile set and uh, want to update to this new one you can download it and uh, so i'm gonna upload the new map file too so you can use this tile set in your environment too anyway that's uh, that's it for now so thanks for watching and uh, until next time <laughs>